well, and it's fun to play against them. I think it's a good thing. It's history, and I hope Mike and them go far. I think they got a great basketball team. Questions for Adam? Joe, you cut the lead right out of the gate in the second half to 10. If you feel like maybe you could hang, hang in there for a few minutes? Or maybe yeah, I, I knew the depth was going to get us before. You know, they, they were substituting, and we were playing extremely hard. And I'm afraid that it might catch up, and it did. But uh, where we're at right now, and a little, you know, uh, we had one kid that had a turned ankle. Her big post player had a turned ankle, so I couldn't get her. She couldn't ever get loose and get going. That re that really hurt her depth inside, and that's you know they started getting a lot of offense put. The uh, tour, uh, I can't think of Kristen, Kristen Borns, Borns. We kept substituting in and out, but she just never could get loose and get going. And that, that really hurt us. She's been starting for us, and that hurt us some. But, uh, you know, that's not the excuse. I, like I say, I, I thought some of our couple of our freshmen that we played today grew up a lot. I, I thought this young lady right here played extremely hard for a freshman and did a great job for us. So I, I was pleased with our effort. Uh, I'm more pleased with what I've seen today, what maybe when conference coming up. I think we made some strides to, to be able to compete in our conference now, and that's what this is for. So, the uh, Angelique had, I just, I, I realized she'd only played 47 minutes and she played 40, 40 minutes. Can you, was this kind of like your time to put her out there and say, let's. She, more and more the last week, we, uh, it, she's coming. And like I say, you don't ever you know freshmen, how the, what, what stage they're going to be ready to play. But I felt like she was getting close to being ready to play. And I think she showed it today. And I thought Skyla, the, the guard, she hadn't played hardly any at all. And for the first time being on the floor, I thought she did an extremely good job. And that's what I'm saying. I think seeing those two freshmen do what they did today, that gives me hopes for, for January and February. You mentioned the history. Someone from the state to see these two teams play. Uh, it, it got me when we walked in the building and I seen all the hogs. You know, I'm thinking we're actually playing those guys. You know, I grew up rooting for them, still will root for them. But just to see them here in the building, knowing we're the ones. And then I asked, I asked Collier before the game, I said, What are you going to do when you hear that hog call for the first time? I said, Because usually we're the ones doing it, you know, for them. And now all of a sudden it's a, it's competition. And it, it felt a little funny, to tell you the truth. You, you see this happening a little more regularly? If Mike wants it to, we'll do it all, uh, anytime. And I think he, I think he loves playing in Little Rock. I think he loved the atmosphere today. Yeah, his team played well, but I think it was a good competitive game, like he said, starting the second half. You know, we're right there with them, and I think if we'd had a little more depth, uh, we'd been able to keep it a little closer. What's your thoughts on? You know, we know what you like to do, Coach, uh, man to man, motion offense. The way they get up and down. Is that a problem today? Well, it was because of our depth. I don't think it would have been if we could have substituted a little bit more inside and, and played. we could have played a little bit better. But I thought our depth got us a little bit today. And like I say, we've got a couple of kids missing and, and hurt. So I, I think that, uh, you know, I'm not saying we could have beat them, but I think if we'd had a little more depth, I think that we could, it would have been a little bit better ball game. Looked like you were executing sets, just not able to finish. Was that, their, was that their defense? Uh, I, th I think a little bit was us getting tired. I think we had some good shots. Collier had some shots that we wanted to get her, and she missed them. And I think she was just getting tired. So, you know, I mean, they played hard, don't get me wrong. And I thought Mike's defense was, was you know, it's like he said, I think it's better than he thought it was going to be. But offensively, they just wear you down. Like Eric, like you said, it's just you got to continue to get back. You got to continue. They got the three. When you can shoot the three like that, you know as well as that, that covers up a lot of sins. And you know, so when you can do that, they can put some points on the board in a hurry and break it open, and and that's what happened. But it, I, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was a great game to watch. We got some mics for those asking questions. So Coach, you told me this week you didn't talk to Mike. You saw him today. What did you guys say to each other before that? No, it's you know before you know. Hey, we're get, we're getting to make history, and it's going to be a great atmosphere. This is this is what it's all about for women's basketball in the state, and you know there, there needs to be more games like this in the state, and not maybe just necessarily just us, but this is what it needs to be. There's some great players in this state, and some of them have been going because they don't see big time games in this state, and so hopefully this will help my keep kids in the state. Maybe it'll help us get one or two, and that's what it should be like. Topher did a great job. She did a great job. I, you know, you know, she's a great three-point shooter. She took it to the whole well, caused us some problems. Dungey's unbelievable. Dungey's a great player. Uh, she's hard to defense. This young lady is a freshman. Had that 
you know, opportunity to learn by playing against a kid like that. So when she gets in our conference now and I say, all right, you got to guard so-and-so, I don't think it'll be a shock now. I think if you can play and, and try to stay with that kid, it gives you some great experience to fall back on. So I'm tickled for that. Like there was a couple times you just like had the ball and not that no one was guarding you, but you saw a straight, kind of straight path to uh, the basket. You were kind of like, you just feeling aggressive, you know, even though you weren't finishing every time you were drawing fouls. And if they weren't on you, were you just like, yeah, I know I'm physical enough to take it to the yeah, one thing that is, it's you work on it in practice. So practice makes perfect, and I, I try my best to do it in practice. Try my best to go hard, and you go hard in practice, you go hard in the game. So that's exactly what I, what I did. I didn't. I didn't. I'm not gonna lie. Before the game, I was very nervous, but uh, coach gives you a task, and you do your best at it, and that's what I tried to do. You play other sports, and I, you got. It. A very physical, athletic physique. I mean, is it, yes, is it something from like track and field? Uh, I, I, I've been playing golf since I was three. <laughs> so <laughs> it's golf. They yes. say she can hit a golf ball 300 yards. And I yes. asked her about it. She said, yeah, coach, I can, but I don't know where it's going. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can hit it. But, but yes, yeah, sir. Great, uh, great young lady. Great young lady. In high school, I played basketball, golf, and track. So I started basketball my freshman year of high school. So. Just trying to do my best, keep working hard, and improve my skills. Did you know early on you weren't going to play a whole lot until you got used to the system? Is that been bringing her along, Joe? Been bringing her along, telling her this is the role mm -hmm. we recruited you for. We want you to be a great defensive player. We want you to be a physical player. As you can see, she can jump out of the gym. She's she's going to do nothing but get better and better. And that's you know, if I get to coach that for four years, that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's got to be a real positive. Today. It is. I mean, it is. It. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. You know, we're young, and that's why the Scala starting at the point guard. You know, got double figures for the first game. She hadn't played hardly any minutes at all. So I had two freshmen that played against a great team that did a pretty dang good job. So that's what I'm saying. I, that that's got me more excited about Christmas than than what I thought I was going to be when I walked in here to see you guys. Anything else for either? All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.